Hi, Andy with HVAC Parts and More. We're working on a Bryant 90% upflow furnace today, and we're getting the air code 14 uh, failure to ignite. First thing we're going to check is the flame sensor. And the flame sensor is actually located up behind the first burn, the last burner against the furnace. And this one's a little difficult to get to, um, so we'll probably have to pause a couple times, but I'm going to show you where it's at. If you, uh, if you locate the white wire going up underneath behind your combustion air, on that is a ceramic flame sensor with a looks like a metal rod on it. And uh, you need to take that out and clean it with a piece of steel wool. Um, I do have a 90 degree attachment and we're going to do that first thing. Alright, so we've got the flame sensor out. There is carbon on the flame sensor. We're going to clean that off with just a little bit of steel wool. Now if this rod was deteriorated or discolored, we would just go ahead and replace it. And all you need to do is remove it. And then you would just reinstall it back on this spade. And then the fun part is fighting it back in there. Alright, so we just got our flame sensor back in. The next thing we're going to check is the hot surface igniter. Now the easiest way to check these is to check for continuity and resistance on the igniter. So just take your meter. First thing I want to check is continuity. Uh, just to see if the thing is open. And put one lead on each end of the igniter. And we do have continuity. Uh, the next thing we need to do is check the resistance. And it should be between 40 and 90 ohms. And this one's reading 46, 47. Okay, if you did need to change the igniter, I'll show you how to do that. Um, again, it's just a quarter inch nut driver socket impact. Remove the cover. And at the end of these white wires is the igniter. Um, the easiest way I've found to get this out is with a quarter inch extension on a drill. And we'll just back that out there. And then gently remove the igniter. Now you can inspect, inspect the hot surface igniter. And a lot of times you may see a burn mark or you'll see that the, uh, the nitride at the end of the ceramic is actually broken. And then you would know that you have a, a bad igniter. But if you needed to replace it, just remove this quarter inch screw and you can just simply slip your new igniter on. I do have a new igniter here, so I'm gonna put it on. You can find all of your parts at HVAC Parts and More.